As the speech-language pathologist, the actual goals that you are addressing with your patient will not change. But how you address them will change slightly since you are able to see the patient now during an entire meal and in a group setting, along with OT. So the rehab dining program is a great way to target the functional aspects of our swallowing goals. Actually seeing our patients during a meal, utilizing strategies, and trialing advanced dietary textures throughout the course of the meal. For the speech pathologist, especially in a rehab setting, a rehab dining program can provide a great supplement to individual swallow rehab. We know that we're often trying to maximize rehab minutes with our patients, and providing both one-on-one -on -one and group therapy can be a, a good way to do this. The two sessions will look differently from one another. The individual session can work as preparation for the rehab dining experience. The patient can learn strategies and can practice them in isolation before applying them to an actual meal. The residents who I think make the best candidates for rehab dining in this population are the ones who have recently had a medical setback, which is in the process of resolving, or already resolved, in which swallow function has also been affected. We see many individuals like this in the sniff setting, ones who perhaps are usually on a regular diet with regular liquids, and then they end up with a UTI, which then impacts their cognition and alertness, and their diet may be ground downgraded during this time. If not left on program, or not at least follow, followed up, this patient may remain on an altered diet when they might not need to be. Since you are seeing patients or residents during a meal time, you have increased opportunity to trial advanced consistencies. Have you ever seen a patient for an individual swallowing session and because of a lack of time or a large caseload, you only had a few minutes and maybe trialed only a few sips of regular liquid or only a little bit of graham cracker? Maybe the patient did well with no signs or symptoms of aspiration, but you just did not feel comfortable with the amount trialed or the amount of time spent with the patient. So you delayed advancing their diet until you could see them again. I know this has happened to me at times. Having a rehab dining program reduces this, as you have the entire meal to trial either their current diet, advanced consistencies, or both. Since you're looking at the entire meal, you can better assess the patient's stamina or endurance. The rehab dining program will not add to your documentation, except that when you write about the goals and the progress of the patient, you will be able to say that you've worked through entire meals and in a group setting.